But first at 530, investigators with the Cleveland Public Safety Office of Professional Standards say they have found policy violations in the deadly police chase that killed an East Cleveland girl. This all comes just months after Cleveland's top cops said officers were justified in their pursuit. Five on your side, investigator Scott Knoll with more tonight outside the Justice Center. We should point out the city's Office of Professional Standards is an independent agency. It's set up to investigate citizen complaints against police. Today, that agency said its investigation of the police chase that ended in the death of Tamia Chapman found violations by nine different officers that day. The complaint against the officers was filed by the mother of Tamia Chapman's best friend, Zelda Mason. The 13-year-old girl injured when police say a stolen SUV carjacked from this Target parking lot, drove onto a sidewalk and hit the girls as it was being chased by Cleveland police in December 2019. Chapman died from her injuries. While Cleveland's police chief said a departmental review found only minor allegations of officers not following policy, today the head of the city's uh, Office of Professional Standards um, outlined his agency's findings. The OPS, as of today, was prepared to present its case and has completed its investigative work and has made findings, including sustained findings against nine different officers in this case. But what those findings are and the officers involved isn't clear yet. That's because the board pushed back its hearing of the case another month so members could fully review the case before deciding whether to accept investigators' findings. We want to give it the proper time to look at all the work. The announcement today, proof, says the attorney representing Chapman and Mason's families, that the review of the chase by Cleveland police was, in the words of attorney Stanley Jackson, inadequate at best. The reality is, is that when you have a uh, uh, an auto accident of that magnitude and someone's killed, you have kids being let out of school at, at that time and you have officers in excess of, you know, 60 miles an hour, close to 70 or 80 miles an hour. I don't understand, you know, and what and what world is that uh, following policy? What policy allows you to do that? If the police review board agrees with investigators findings that policies were broken, it will then recommend discipline in the case. But ultimately, it will be up to the police chief to decide whether or not to accept those recommendations. Today, a police spokesperson said the department is still reviewing the individual actions of police officers that day. In Cleveland, I'm 5 on your side, Investigator Scott Knoll.